wanted to ask you now how did you get into the acting because you appeared in juice right yeah yeah well you know what happened was i live in harlem at the time and they were shooting juice in my building in the basement wow you know and the cat um damn I, you know i know this guy I made mean, a good and his name is you know you know people and the name just slips your mind right there i don't know I, I, it'll come to me later on tonight i'm so embarrassed i can't because he's a good friend of mine and he called me right he was the director of photography but he this was for spike lee but he was he's he's actually this was his movie he was doing this movie for like the other movies he was working for spike lee but and i met him uh i met him I, Spike Lee had called me. He did the same. Spike did the same thing to me. He called. You know, he was calling at the Clear Blue. And like, Yo, I'm doing this movie. And I had this Malcolm X movie. Come down and do this. I said, okay. Um, you know, you got to pay me. Give me some. He said, Cause, you know, okay, you get dollars. And you know, get some chicken wings. So it's a little crazy. But I went down and and uh, you know and I said, okay, I'm gonna do it. And uh, but his was a bit more. Extensive the Malcolm X, we had to get wardrobe and fitting and all that. So it was a couple of days, but uh, and 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 that's where I met the, this other cat, right? We hung out, and, and you know, I'm, I'm so embarrassed because I know this guy, it's like you know somebody and you can't think of his name. I can't, his name is escaping me crazy because I'm trying to spill to this to, to, to the story. Anyway, he called me, he was, it was he was his turn to do a movie, and it happened to be Juice, right. Ernest Dickerson, that's what it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Big Ernest shout Dickerson. out. Yeah, big shout out. So he called me. I was upstairs. He said, You juice come I'm doing a movie juice. Yeah, okay, that's good. I was young cat, Tupac, and then a couple of them names. And uh, come down, I want you to do a little scene. I said, Okay, cool. Uh he said, I know the cat, Samuel Jackson, what's up at Samuel Jackson? And so he's like, he's he's uh, he's doing his thing. You know, he's coming up. So I said, okay. And, and we did that little scene. We didn't even get no lines, man. That little, if you ever see the movie, uh, look at it. My mom in it for a minute, but he did, we made that up right there. That was the coolest thing. On the spot. Yeah, he, we did that. They never give me any lines. They always, you know, they let me, even with the the Malcolm X thing, like, oh, just make it, just say whatever you say. We, you, what you say is, you know, they told me, they, they, they um, you know, uh, uh, just zap me with the bullshit, you know. If you say it's better than what we could write, you know, and I went for it, you know. I should said, "Nah, you write something, man, because I'm gonna get paid, man." Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, nah, it was a cool. I'm just joking. It was, it was cool, man. But that's how that's how that happened. He just called me, man, and and uh, and I went in and did that. And he just called, you know. Okay. Wow. Did you that. get to? Huh? I was gonna ask, did you get a chance to uh, interact with Tupac, or was it just separate? From yeah, what they yeah, doing? He, but he wasn't the Tupac that y'all know. You came come came to know at that point. He was really because during that movie, he was still he was still like really young cat. He was coming coming up. He came upstairs. He had to use the bathroom. He came upstairs, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and he chatted. He hung out for a little while. I lived in the building. Remember, I tell you, I lived in the building. So uh, and, and it was cool. He was he was a very intelligent, intelligent young cat. His mother was was what had been around though before him. I I, I met his mother. This was on, on this was forty nine. It was on one hundred thirtieth Street in, in Harlem, one hundred thirtieth in Saint Nicholas Terrace. He was his, wow. his mother. His mother was had, had been around only for a few days, a few weeks maybe. And I just I knew her from the neighborhood. I mean I met, I didn't know why. She was her name was ringing in the neighborhood, but uh, of course, because it was her, you know. But you know, I mean, it was whispers, you know. That's what he is, she goes, you know, you know, you know, you know, like, yeah, really, oh wow, okay, how you doing? And she was really cool, you know. But it was just in passing, I, and I didn't even make the connection until after uh, he had passed. I didn't. I mean, it was that long. I didn't even, you know. But um, oh, yeah, he was a cool. Guy. I met him. Yeah, yeah, he was a, uh, you know. But he wasn't like he wasn't a profound. You know, it was just it was casual, man. The cat was, you know, but a very nice young man. Very, 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 yeah, very, very nice young man. 
Right, right. But that's a, even though it was a short scene, that was a memorable scene. Uh, we'll just say uh, Snappy Nappy uh, Dugout. That oh, was, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have got some kind of trash. See, if I, see, I should have got some kind of publishing money. So I don't know, something. You know, because I, I never done on t shirts, man. It was like cats was making a whole change, a little change out of it. You know, I, but yeah, yeah, you yes, can bring I'm it just, back out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bring it I'm back to life. Man, nah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just joking, man. I'm just, you know. Right, right. Yeah, I'm strolling through life, brother. I can dig it. I can dig it. But I